Barney? You're alive! Oh, Bar! Nick, is that really you? <laughs> Barney, what are you doing here? You should be resting in the infirmary. I know, but it feels great, Professor. I don't know how to explain it, but I feels better than ever. I can't believe it. Professor, how is this possible? That's what we're still trying to determine, but the hope is that studying Barney's blood will help us understand the virus further and help us lead us to a cure. You know, all this talk is just makes me hungry. You want to go get some food, Nick? Sure. We have a lot of catching up to do. Take care, you two, and make sure he takes it easy, Nick. We still don't know exactly what happened to him. So then, Nick, I told him, Hey, you've been typing in caps the whole time! <laughs> and that's how Stephen's Hawking chair broke. Oh, Barney, that... I feel like you need to work on your joke telling. It's just... It's not quite there yet. I don't know if it's the accent or the timing. Just... I don't know, man. That was a pretty funny joke. I think that your senses of humor is ruined. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think that's the case. But anyway, come on. I'm hungry. I want to grab something to eat. Besides, oh, yeah, me too. you probably haven't met a lot of the people that have... Well, that have joined the group since you've been gone. Yeah, oh, I haven't really Nick. been seeing any. Speaking oh. of one right here. Gallo! Gallo! <laughs> Barney! Oh my god, Barney, it's you! <laughs> oh, hi, how you doing, man? Oh my god, is this good to see you, bro? Oh, man, it's so good to see you. Gallo! You're, oh, you're Scott Peaches! Yup, yup, yup! Well, I see they know each other. You're Scott Peaches, Gallo! Yeah. I was coming, Gallo! Oh, <laughs> alright. I guess we were I heading to the kitchen anyway. They know each other. Yeah, Barney, well... We've gone back a long way with Barney. Not Barney. as far as you though, Major Gray. Look at this, Barney. Look at all look at all look at all of them. Look how much I have, Barney. Oh, I think you're getting so many pitches. Hey, I've I've been hoarding. Take I've been hoarding. Oh, man. Hey man, these are for Barney, Nick. <sighs> Nick, don't touch his my pitches. Alright, alright, fine. I'll just keep one, but you know, Ghetto, I'll trade you this peaches back if you give me a you know, just maybe just one marshmallow. Not the whole oh, thing. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm Barney. He's been harassing me about marshmallows this whole time. Yeah, I know Nick loves his man. marshmallows. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you have marshmallows, it'd be a shame not to share them. But look, I, Barney, you need to meet Major Gray. He's really the head of everything here at the CDC. He's kept us safe, and he's done us a lot of favors. So yeah, you can trust Glad him. Glad to meet you, Barney. There's a head honcho around you. here. There I am. Oh man, I was Barney, and uh, I was back. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, heard from Professor X that he had possibly found a cure, but I'm glad to see that it worked. Oh, it's me too. I'm like back at 100. percent Yeah. It's... Yeah, man. You look really good, man. <laughs> Thanks. Glad, so, glad to see you're back, man. Well, we're unions but, um... aside. I think, Nick, we kind of need you for something. Oh, what's that? Uh, well, the myself, the general, Ghetto, and you, if you come and help us, we're having a. Uh, a leaders meeting in the cafeteria discuss oh. the future of the CDC yeah I think that's definitely for the best there are some things that I want to bring up as well all right let's head off is it right now yeah well if you're ready for it yeah sure if you need time to you know eat uh, I was kind of hungry but you know ghetto if you would just give me maybe a can for the road all right I got gotcha. you I'll give you two all right okay I'm ready for the meeting let's go Hey, so I can join you guys. Oh. Um. Well, Barney, look, I mean. I mean, you did just get cured. I think yep. you need your rest. Um. And all right, you know. Don't worry, I don't it's know for the what, best. Yeah. And that's Barney, a good idea. besides that, there's a lot more that's happened. A lot more than just GOAT. And, well, to be honest, I think Major Gray is right. You should sit this one out, let us handle this, and then we'll catch you up for the next one. Okay, if your guys need me, you know, you know where I am. Alright, and remember, try and ration those peaches. 
I know you've been a walker for a while, but that doesn't mean you can peg out on everything. It's ghetto. You have to eat as many as you want, man. Trust me, I have plenty, <laughs> all right? I'll just get cool, cool. Okay, okay. All right, come all on, right, ghetto. I'll see you guys later. Later, Barney. Bye, guys. Along you two. All right. Oh, General. Oh, hey guys. Again. General, excuse What's me. What's going on, General? Oh, all right. Hey, all right. Go through, Major. Uh, doing all right. Go. Uh, how you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Uh, sorry, Thank I'm you. late, everybody. I didn't even realize we were having this meeting today. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and get it underway. I'll start by stating the obvious. Thanks to Red's men helping us patrol around these walls and through the halls itself. We have quadrupled in size of our force as well as patrols around the CDC. I feel like we are relatively safe now compared to just a week ago. Well, I mean, as long as we got enough food to feed them, I think we should be all right. Um, Nick, we should. How, how is the food supply going? Is it all right? Um, yeah, last I checked, uh, I think it's going all right. I mean, we have oh. quite a bit of food we collected from Red's base as well, so yeah. that should hold us over until we can get some sort of agriculture or crop system going. Yeah, yeah. we've got a lot of peaches. We need some more, but cause we're running low. But I mean, I still got some right here. Wait, <laughs> wait, can I have one of those? You know, you always asking for. You know, I'm just glad that ain't marshmallows here. Take the peach, take the can. Well, I mean, if you have marshmallows, that'd be great too. But. Besides that, what else do we have on the agenda, guys? I know we, we've we definitely gone through some changes. Is everyone still clear about their roles? Uh, uh, definitely, much, but... Yeah. yeah. My real well, question is, what do we yeah. do now? Well... Yeah, Nick. I think the main what? thing is keeping everybody safe. The CDC should be our number one objective, no matter what. That's going to be tough, because we are going to have to send out supply runs to get, well... Food, medicine, supplies, weaponry. We're not going to be able to hold out here forever, but for now, I don't think that might not be a bad plan. Whoa, Definitely. Bad. I think Tommy can help lead some by runs. Definitely. Red's, Red's men better than the rest of us, so. Well, what about power? Like, you know, surely we need to get some more energy to this place because we can't uh, just run itself. Don't worry. We've got some backup generators. We just need to look for more fuel supplies. Right. Okay. Well, I we got should, a question we that we'd all kind of want to know. What, what, what's going on with Ross? Oh, huh, yeah. That's just yeah. it. He vanished without a trace. Everything from his notes to his research, it was gone by the time that we had turned on Red. I don't know exactly how, but I feel like he must have gotten tipped off to the fact that Red's men were going to mutiny. As oh. far as I'm concerned, oh. Ross is still out there, but until he shows himself, I don't think we should waste any resources hunting him. At least, I the agree. CDC shouldn't waste any resources. Yeah. What do you mean by that, Nick? Well, that's actually something I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. I've made a decision. After hunting Red for so long and finally getting my revenge, I still feel empty and... Well, long story short, I don't think I'm in the right mindset to lead this group. I think it's best if I step down as leader of the CDC and let someone else take over control. Whoever that might be. Really? Are you, are you sure about this? this? Well, I have been doing a lot of thinking, Ghetto, and it's been a long time coming. This mindset that I'm in, it's not good, and it's not going to lead to good things for this group. It's better for everybody, myself included, if someone else leads. Well, if well, that's something you here. feel you have to do, Nick, I'll I'll support you 100%, you know? Me as well. Yeah. Same here, man. Thanks, so guys. I think, what I think that is... means we should start thinking about voting on a new leader here. But that's something for another time. Wow, Major. I was just about to say the same thing, but you had to jump the gun, didn't you, Major? Huh? Well, look, guys. Settle down. Look, I'm going to go quickly say goodbye to Shelby, but after that... I think I'm going to go take some time and, well, I think I'm going to go off on my own for a little bit. I just, something about this place, there's too many memories here. I just need to get away. 
clear my head. Phoenix, before you leave, make sure to stock up on supplies. You can take what you need. Thank you, Major. And listen, I know this is probably a little bit unorthodox, but don't send anybody after me. I couldn't bear to live with myself if I knew that I was taking even one person off of protecting the CDC and all the work we're doing here. It's my choice Whatever to go off say. on my own. Please respect Whatever that. Whatever you say. We'll I'll be make sure we that just... they won't come after your neck. Thanks, guys. We right. just, just make sure you're safe, all right? I will. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys again. Just take care of yourself. See ya, man. Oh, Professor X. Must be running some tests. Wait, Professor! Your head! Oh. Nick! Put your, put your helmet back on! Oh, no, don't worry, Nick, it's fine. Just come <gasps> on in. What? Nick, stop holding your breath. It's not contagious. <sighs> <It's>, what? <sighs> Look, Nick? come on. <sighs> Be a friend. Nick, it's not contagious. The medicine, that means it's working, right? Well, it's... it's hard to explain, really. Look, the medicine will work for now, but we don't have a lot of time. I think it could work between two to three weeks, but... So it's just like that, Formula X. Without more doses, it's pretty much useless. Exactly, Nick. <sighs> Alright, well, look, I just came to say goodbye to Shelby. I, I didn't realize you guys are going to be in the middle of some tests. I, Oh no no! Don't I worry. I should just Nick. go. I took what I I took what I needed. Look, I'll, I'm just gonna go run some tests. Um, good seeing you, Nick. Okay, good seeing you, Bye. Professor. Did well, you say you were leaving? Yeah, I, that's what I wanted to come talk to you about. But now you that you just got back. Where are you going? Well, to be honest, Shelby, I'm I'm stepping down as leader of the group. What? I just I don't think that I should be leading in the frame of mind that I am right now. I'm. I'm not thinking straight. I thought that, well, I thought that I would feel better. I would feel something after taking Red out, but I just feel worse than before. And now, with the news that Professor X told me, I mean, you need more medicine, more of a cure. And we've already raided all the hospitals around the area, so I'm going to leave. And I'm not going to come back until I find something to help you. Where are you going to go? You can't go off on your own. That's too dangerous. It's fine. I I can survive on my own. And besides, it's better if the people that are here stay here. There's a group here. And just because I'm not the one to lead it doesn't mean it still can't do good. That means you, Shelby. I, I don't want you to follow me this time. I want you to stay here and try and do what's good for the group. Supposed to just let you run off, and you're gonna get yourself killed out there. Well, maybe, but we live in a dangerous world. There are risks we have to take, and there are some things I'm just not willing to sacrifice. I understand. But stay alive out there. You better come back. I will, and trust me, I'm gonna find a cure for you, Shelby. Even if I have to track Ross down myself. Take care All of right. yourself, Shelby. Stay with yeah. the group and just take care of yourself. I'll be here. And the uh, Nick? Yeah? Um, never mind. Be safe. Okay, you too. Okay, just gotta get outside the city before nightfall and wait. Huh? What is that? Another walker horde? Oh jeez. There's no guards. Wait, that's not a <laughs> oh. <sighs> Why? They... You scared the crap out of me. I almost shot you. Walls! Walls! Hold on, man. That's goes too far. Yeah, I know. You've been shot enough for one person. What are hey, you doing telling out me? here? Well, you know, I'm getting kind of bored, so I just want to come out here and plays around. Oh, well, I get that you're bored, Barney, but you really shouldn't be outside the walls. 
The CDC is safe. If you come outside, walkers, anyone could get to you. Well, I mean, I know it's safe in there, but it's also boring in there. And next, I don't know that many people. I don't really have anyone that hangs out with. I mean, and with with Goat being gone, yes, I really don't have anyone that hangs out with. That's just not true, Barney. There's plenty of people in the CDC who care about you. Shark, Ghetto, and look, even the people who didn't know you before you turned, they've risked a lot to make you, well, to make you better again, to save you. No, yeah, I'm sure, and I'm thankful to all of them, but I mean, so much has changed, man. It's a lot for me to taking in. Uh, I definitely understand that, and you know, with everything that's gone on, it's that's really what made, well, that's what drove me to make my decision too. And I guess I can't really blame you for feeling that way. What's the decision? Oh, I. Jeez, oh, I'm so sorry, Barney. I I didn't realize you hadn't heard this either. Well, at the meeting today, I told the others that I was going to be stepping down as leader of the group. I what? Just, well, I just think that my current state of mind and. The way I've been feeling, it just wouldn't be the best thing for the group if I was in charge. But Nix, yours has always been the leader. I, I can't think straight right now. And besides, there's something else I have to do. The doctors say, they say the medicine we got Shelby, it'll only keep her safe, keep her healthy for a few weeks at most. After that, they have no idea what'll happen. If she'll get well, worse. Who's this Shelby's? She's, well, I guess you haven't met her yet, but... She's someone who means a lot to me, and, well, I can't just sit around and wait for her to get sicker. I have to do something, even if it means going off on my own. I well, can't ask no, hold on. Else. Hold on, hold on. If she means a lot to you, then she means a lot to me as well. So, I'll go with you. Wait, Barney, no, you can't come with me. Look, I didn't want anyone to come with me because I couldn't ask anyone else to risk their life. And besides, you've just gotten better. You must be feeling a little bit sick or tired or... Nose, 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 nose. I already risked my life. <laughs> so it's all good. I already did that. Anyways, Nyx, I don't really know that many people here. I mean, I don't know sharks and ghettos, but... I mean... I... Can I just come with you, please, Nick? Please? <sighs> Alright, Barney. Look, you've always got a place by my side, and... I'd be silly to turn you away. Especially going off my own like this. You can come. <laughs> Let's go save the Shelby's. <laughs> I've got an extra gun in my bag. Let's try and make it outside the city before nightfall. Yeah, sounds like a plan, man. All right, follow me. And stay quiet. There's a lot of all walkers right. in the city. All right, all right.